Hello everyone, my name is Dmitry, I'm a product designer at Sketch and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for icon design. First of all we go into settings and check color profile is displayed per free because Mac and iPhone can display wider color gamut and if we design for interfaces not for web design, uh, I highly recommend to turn it on. And also you can, you need to check um, the document settings, oh, like here, and check if your color profile be free. I'm going to make a shot for dribble, just pressing A to create outboard, and you can see it's like a lot of outboard presses here, you just can press and create a shot, it's like perfect size for dribble and yeah, uh, we we just stuck here next we create an icon, it's like we can create any size we want we'll be sure this smooth corner and make some long corners just by eyes we just create something that looks similar with the icon right now. Next we create some gradient and this gradient should be very clean and with a clean color how we can make it. First of all, usually all this we're going to just linear gradient but I want to create radial gradient because light distribute on the real objects not just linear but slightly like a radial gradient and I just select this one uh, to be looks nice just moved here it's like our light source make it more white and place place the upper color just like here and lower color just like here and we just imitate the linear color gradient but it it should be it looks just more natural with this trick we need some uh, color for example purple one why not just i can just create some purple color what i like because it's p3 color gamut i just can pick some very vivid, very cool color just like there and it's like our base color well I'm going to gradient just press Ctrl C it's like Ctrl C and we make just just make it flat well what happened when we just need to make it slightly lighter we grab this color and move it by diagonally make it less uh, vivid and move hue slider as well to make it more lighter because you also need to move hue slider and here's like I'm going to make it darker a little bit and yeah, just like that as you can see it's like very very clean gradient you can remove it Actually, you can create some drop shadow just press the shadow make some drop shadow just like that but as you can see it looks kind of dirty and unreal and usually i just click on the bottom color to make it more vivid more natural and make some more darker and here we can spread our shadows like this one or this one depends of the size of the light source if light source is wide we can just spread it to the minus 
just like there. If light source is small, like small bulb, we can just spread it out just like that. You already feel this like light some here is very close to the object, but for icon I prefer light source because yeah, but usually it's not only one drop shadow, it's several drop shadows. It's like very hard drop shadow. We can just not create the same. Just copying copy shadow. Oh, duplicate it. Yeah, duplicate it. Yeah, reduce blur a bit. And we can reduce opacity for this one to make it a bit more realistic. We can also duplicate it as well. To blow more. And cetera, and cetera. You can create a lot of drop shadows with different colors, different opacity, different blur uh, to make it more realistic. Uh, also, you can use some plugins for that to create a realistic drop shadow. Um, but sometimes, sometimes we need to change the shape of the shadow because we don't know which uh, surface on the back uh, on the icon and maybe we need to change the shape or we need to make it very faster than just create and create and create and create shadows it's like quite boring sometimes and we can just switch off just keep like a hard shadow from it why not and duplicate this layer Let's turn off. Keep only one shadow. And let's remove it, remove it, remove it. Let's spray it like zero. It's just a shadow. We can put it here and we can see our shadow and we can blur it. But because it's a sketch, you have some different kind of blur here, like motion blur, zone blur, and if we make a motion blur, we can blur it by one direction. Let's make it 90 degrees and put it down. As you can see, it's imitate the real drop shadow. Beautiful. We can make it smaller a little bit and we also can change the shape if we need it as you can see or add some points something like that we can change the shape you can you can feel the shape of the object by changing the shape of the shadow it's very really nice and we can change the opacity here, just like that. Of course, uh, you can you can blur, like Gaussian blur, make a Gaussian blur, because if we remove the blur here, we see the harsh shadow, and I want to make it a little bit blurry. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, I need a shape here, like icon. <laughs> what what is icon about? I'm going to SF Symbols Beta. SF Symbols, it's uh, software from Apple. Uh, it's like symbols in the San Francisco font, and you can use it. Let's pick the shape. I think I think this one, this one, this one, this one. It's great because it's, it's a lot of holes here. It's quite complex, etc. And we just copy and paste, paste, and make this bounding box equal to our shape, just like that. Make it uh, looks like I'm 
put it on the icon. First of all, it's supposed to be a white color, but in real life we don't have black, gray or white color because objects always uh, direct lightning, lightning to each other and uh, if you put red object on the white object, white bounces on the red, red bounces on the uh, white, etc. And you can see this indirect lighting. And here as well. And we need some gradient. I just pick the same colors and make it more like white. Just like that. To create the shadows. Because uh, I can change this um, symbol. This one. Yeah. We need to make it more universal. Well, I'm going to create a shadow. Uh, because we can't use a black shadow. It just looks bad. But we also can't use the color from our background just like that because if I want to change the background or as you can see I just pick one color and it works very good with the, our background I just go and make it gray and make some overlay here for shadow yeah and I love uh, in sketch we have plus darker or plus lighter overlays. Of course you can just use classic overlay like overlay or soft light. Let's try soft light for example and you can see how our shadow looks already nice but I want to make it more natural and just go to plus, plus darker just like that. And if we change just to white color here it's kind of the change opacity but yeah and it, it works procedurally let's remove it make it more harsh duplicate it yeah it's already nice I think two shadows it's good enough and make some highlights because if uh, light bounces on this object uh, has to be bounced to the background as well well create new shadow but this time it's supposed to be a uh, last light and go to opposite way Let's make it subtile. Apply. We can play with the spread as well. Something like that. Just to make all this symbol make more through there. So we can play with the gradient, make it more contrast or less contrast. Up to you. And it's pretty this it. We can change the shape, we can change uh, our background and it's automatically uh, change the color of the shadows. As you can see, let's try making this one. Yeah, works pretty well. And let's go to the shirt, add some background color, and because it's like white color, not so good as always. Let's pick some color from here, or from the icon. I think from here is good. And yeah, that's it. It's like very simple, and you can start just from here. 
and it's how I usually made fast icons if I need to just make very very fast but sometimes I need make a series of the icon and I need to somehow automi automatize it I just can use some function called tint color here and I just can choose any color I want just like there but as you can see it's all flat our shadows is with the same color other shape with the same color but without any gradient because uh, tin color looks at the shape not the color shading like how to like works we can duplicate uh, our rectangle here remove all shadows just like there great color with a white color this one this one it's like pretty simple it's like overlay over the object but it's white i want to make it more procedural uh, because i want to change the color and i want to be sure it's always looks the same it's always looks nice well uh, opacity here and plus lighter and i can change the opacity and as you can see colors is already really really nice also we can change the opacity of the fills on the our shape to plus lighter as well we can remove the gradient and make it a slight like like this one well let's make another icons i'm going here and select some nice icon from here just like that it's already done <laughs> but I want to change the color and I'm going to change it like this one and as you can see it works just automatically we just need to select perfect contrast ratio for it And for some icons, just like there, we need to compensate optically, just like that. Simple, it's, it's pretty fast, and you can create a lot of icons very, very easy. See you next time.